What are fashion shows actually? Are they here just to serve as a way of exhibiting fashion, or are they something more? Let's try to find out in today's program. Fashion trends are changing at the speed of light. The fashion industry is welcoming everything that's new. It's ready to cooperate with different fields. Media, films, choreography, IT, music, and other art fields closely connected today with each another in terms of fashion and fashion shows. Paris is the undisputable trendsetter. The first private shows were held in Paris in the middle of the 18th century. It was not quite the show we're familiar with. The model simply shone in stunning dresses at a social event. Fashion gradually entered social life and brings a sophisticated atmosphere to it at the start of the 20th century. For example, Balls are held in Paris at which guests can try on unusual luxury designer dresses by designer Paul Poirier. The aroma of fashion exceeded the limits of France and reached America. It inspired American designers in the 30s to try their hand. Fashion critic Eleanor Lambert organizes the first fashion show in New York. And from then on, it became one of the biggest events in the fashion world. The first American designer to make it into the fashion history on the same level as Parisian couturiers was Norman Norell. He was famous for creating breathtaking, sparkling outfits for film divas and Broadway show performers. He made dresses for Marilyn Monroe. Fashion shows appeared in Italy in the 50s. A large brand and celebrities collaborating is a method of promotion that the industry uses even today. The precursor of this advertisement was Hubert de Givenchy, who created dresses for Audrey Hepburn's heroine in the film Breakfast at Tiffany's. There were haute couturier dresses. Gradually, Prada Porter started to replace haute couturier collections in the 70s. Fashion becomes more about mass appeal. Different fashion boutiques are unveiled. Paris officially unveils Fashion Week in 1973, oriented at Prada Porter shows, with occasional haute couturier dresses included in collections. Fashion Week then becomes a popular event in London, New York, and Milan. Of course, every country now has its own fashion week. But the most famous and large Prada Porter shows are held twice a year in September and February in New York, London, Milan and Paris. Ukraine is no stranger to global trends. This year it's the 22nd anniversary of the first Ukrainian fashion week show. The founder of the project, Irina Danilevska, was inspired to create Ukrainian Fashion Week because of Ukrainian designers and their magnificent sense of fashion and desire to put their thoughts across to the world via their collections. Ukrainian Fashion Week was not the first event in Ukraine that was associated with fashion, yet the medium of these events had, first and foremost, the aim of entertaining. There was no professional platform for designers. I went to professional fashion weeks in Paris and Milan back then. I saw how they organized it there. I realized that we have to provide two important aspects – the certainty, or rather, the confidence, that now, and in a half a year's time, and half 
half a year after that, they will be in demand. At that time, of course, to share the system on which the fashion world operates. The system was absent in Ukraine, while globally it was functional, and it worked well. I wanted Ukrainian designers to also become part of the system. We created Ukrainian Fashion Week this way. Previously, Fashion Weeks in Ukraine were held in March and October, after the end of the Milan, Paris, London and New York Weeks. Now they run in parallel with the show staged by the Big Four. It is September and February. When I realized that a designer has to visit Paris or Milan with their collection, then come back to Ukraine to participate in Ukrainian Fashion Week, then leave once again to finish the marketing season, for instance in Paris, I thought that I need to change something. Achievements in the fashion field grow with each show. The platform Novi Imena or New Names, is the starting platform for young designers that Ukrainian Fashion Week is always ready to support. Successful designers develop on this platform. The awarding of designers with the title Best Fashion Awards is held during Ukrainian Fashion Week. The Best Fashion Awards Prize is arguably the most long-awaited project of mine. I thought about this prize back in 2002. I know that such a prize cannot be successful without people to give it to, if there isn't sufficient competition in a good sense. If the jury does not have the candidates from which to judge, it appeared in 2010. It was a beautiful show on a grand scale. Innovative technologies, video mapping, pillars with blooming flowers, and all this created an astonishing atmosphere of celebration when the Best Fashion Awards Prize was being awarded. The prize has several categories. Experts work to make competent decisions and judgments regarding the winners in these categories. 35 experts who complete special reports twice a year. These reports are completed anonymously, we are not involved there. They are placed in envelopes, and then the votes are counted. As a result, once in a year, in autumn November, we sum up the year's results. Among the many categories, only one prize is bestowed by designers themselves. It is called Natchnenya, or the inspiration. In actual fact, all the people involved celebrate it. Apart from festive awards and fashion shows, designers also come face to face with certain difficulties. The lack of a team, lack of a well organized production. But These are the biggest issues. Our designers do not suffer from a lack of fantasy, though. The originality of the models, creativity, the fusion of art directions and, of course, the creativity and individuality of designers are very important for fashion shows. The creation of clothing and putting on an entertaining show are two compounds for Prada Porter fashion shows today. The directors of fashion shows try to go beyond the limits of ordinary shows. They use special effects with great enthusiasm. The theatricism present is also relevant, while the music plays a big part in them too. Modern locations are treated with careful attention in fashion shows today. British designer Alexander McQueen presented his new collection in an abandoned church back in 1996. At that time, it was one of the most eccentric shows. Dormitory districts, rooftops, helicopter pads, museums, as well as special halls can all be used as locations for a fashion show. Ukrainian Fashion Week has been held at the Mistetsky Arsenal Museum Complex in Kyiv for several years running. This location enables the creation of unbelievably extensive shows, which are an integral part of a fashion event. Sometimes the theme and atmosphere of a collection suggest a location. 
the most striking shows that we had outside of Mistetsky Arsenal was shows by Jean Gritsfeld at Borispol Airport, where models emerged from an aircraft, and his show at a railway station, where all the models were travelers arriving by train. The Frolov brand always puts on outstanding shows. Ivan Frolov performed in a theater, an abandoned nightclub, in a Soviet-era hotel that was famous for its style of architecture. Artyom Klimchuk gives locations special attention. He talks a great deal through his collection. And he talks about Kyiv and about Ukraine. Sometimes, via the choice of his locations, he returns forgotten buildings to the residents of Kyiv. Female collections are the basis of fashion shows both in Ukraine and other countries. There are fewer male collections at Ukrainian Fashion Week. I think that at present those men who look out for the latest styles are turning to street style brands. For example, sweatshirts of some kind, t-shirts or everything in black. I mean, even with unusual forms or fit, they prefer black. There are brands that are far from fashion week. They understand it, so they're focused on showrooms and exhibitions. The price range is also different here. If we're talking about the capital's fashionable men, who take care of themselves, they are now outraged. We do not have male brands. However, designers prepare shows for glamorous men and those who want to follow fresh trends. Male collections are presented in September and mid-June during fashion weeks in London, then Milan and Paris. The New York shows come last. So, according to designers, men must dress stylishly. High-quality clothing gives confidence to those who wear it. Of course, as a male master, I try to promote a suit culture. Jackets, trousers, elegant suits. Why? Because any figure, any male figure that might be deformed by sports or restaurants and saunas will always look slimmer in a suit. A man in a suit looks simply majestic. I'm not sure how it works, this magic, but a suit makes a man look like Apollo. One more direction exists in the fashion world. The Pitti Uomo trade show. It's a special seasonal exhibition in Florence. Manufacturers of clothing, footwear, accessories and textiles demonstrate their new products. The speciality of this event is the chance to try on clothing and evaluate their quality. Besides well-known fashion weeks, there are weeks of wedding fashion, swimwear fashion, children's fashion, jewelry, art shows and many others. Fashion lovers get to feel a special atmosphere when visiting fashion week. The range of available shows grows with every year. Ukrainian Fashion Week reveals new designer names. Thanks to fashion shows, designers share experience and new trends appear. Innovative technologies allow you to organize fantastic fashion shows. Fashion from Catwalk speaks daringly about what is important in society. However, there's no doubt that emotions are the main thing at fashion shows. Positive emotions are actually beneficial for creativity.